Hey Scorpio, it's Goddess Puff and these are secrets that you need to know. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Scorpio. Dang. What secrets do my Scorpios need to know at this very moment in time, Spirit? What secrets does Scorpio need to know, Spirit? All right, let's see. Okay, why did it do that? I hate when it does. Why do I have a why do I have a southern accent right now? <laughs> I was brought up in the south, but why? Why did it just come out right now? <laughs> All right, we have elf mischief. Maybe you're visiting the south. We have wasp revenge. We have fairy glamour. I don't know why I wanted to say resources. Like a resource fairy. I don't know why I wanted to say that. And now I'm tasting caramel popcorn. That sounds good. I might go get some after this. We have owl wisdom as the overall energy. Okay. So whenever I get the card owl wisdom, this is something you've been there, done that before. I wouldn't be surprised if the Wheel of Fortune comes out in the tarot. But with mischief and revenge, someone is like being passive aggressive or passing off pranks as like, yeah, they're pretending that something's just for play, that something's just a prank, when really it's revenge. So they're passing off revenge as a prank. So say, for instance, you have a certain outfit set up, a certain hairstyle set up that you want, and this person goes in, they switch out your shampoo for dye, they switch out your clothes, they set something else so that um, your, your outfit, makeup, hair, everything is a disaster, or it's the wrong color. And like, it's just a prank. It's just a prank. It's just playing around. It's actually revenge. They want to mess with your looks, though. Yeah, with mischief, vengeance, or revenge, and glamour, they want to mess up your look. So they may put some allergen in your face cream to make you break out or to make your cheeks red or to make you have an allergic reaction. They may, like, mess with your hair dye or something or your clothes they do something to make your whole look fall apart. And with the over energy being out of wisdom, you're aware of this person, you know how they are, or this reading could help you to um, avoid that. Again, they're passing off revenge as a prank. So let's get into the tarot and get more on this for Scorpio. What secrets does Scorpio need to know at this very more moment in time? <laughs> What secrets does Scorpio needs to know at this very moment? Okay. What secrets does Scorpio needs to know at this very moment in time? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. We have the Two of Swords. Yeah, so that's going to be stopped and blocked. So if you're going on stage or a presentation of any kind, this person is going to be blocked from entry anyway. So they can't, so lock your dressing room as well. But this person is going to be not access to the stage anyway, so it's not going to work. Yeah, it's the source of truth and they're going to let you know, warn you beforehand that they saw someone tampering with something, tampering with the lock, tampering with your makeup, your hair, your, um, your uh, creams for your face security or whoever is going to stop this person deny access to them and let you know that this person tries to enter and tamper with something or they caught them tampering with something but the higher font higher commitment it could be a taurus yeah they're going to tell you the truth about this person the knight of cups yeah they're not actually coming to apologize someone's going to fake like they're coming to make amends and tell you the truth for themselves when really they're coming in to sabotage you over on you use the page of cups a pleasant surprise so you're going to be happy like the truth is also you got a promotion somewhere and someone's going to lie to you and say that you didn't get it or try to send you somewhere else. Or say, for instance, like you got the email back. This person's going to delete the email so it feels like you never got it. They're going to delete the voicemail so it feels like you never got it. So check back in on your own. If you apply to any places or you're waiting to hear back from someone, reach out to that person directly because that person has reached back to you. But this hater has deleted that person's text, email, call, voicemail, all that. They deleted it so you wouldn't get it. You got this promotion with the higher fine. You got the position you wanted. 
And you're going to be pleasantly surprised by that with the page of cups. This person's very jealous because they feel like they deserve that position. They feel like they deserve your position in life, period. All right, so let's clarify this for Scorpio. This person just a hater. They're just jealous. And then I cut the deck to shuffle. And we got literally the Seven of Swords and three of cups <laughs> like if you know anything about tarot it's a hot mess clarify this for scorpio it's like this person is trying to go like behind your back and take your position and it doesn't work and this and your boss or whoever hires you this company actually gives you a heads up on this clarify this for scorpio clarify this message for scorpio Thank you, Spirit. Clarifying the Two of Swords is the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you got some type of security or guard, or if you don't have that, it's someone who just has your back. They feel and see suspicious stuff. Someone tampering with a lock or your makeup or your products. They're going to kick that person out, throw that product away, and let you know immediately. You have a star card Aquarius because I feel like you are on stage or you are the face of this company or this presentation or whatever. And they so they have your back. They don't want anything to tamper with that. So someone peeps something, gets rid of that person, and throws it out and they let you know immediately. Could be an Aquarius doing this to you or helping you. Clarifying the Ace of Swords is the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to tell you the truth about this person. The ideas this person have, yep, six of cups, someone from your past, someone you used to work with or who used to teach or who used to compete with you. For some of you, this person taught you or helped you get a leg up way back when or helped you get your start in this like field. This person like years ago helped you get the start in this field, but you've exceeded their expectations. So now they're like, hold up, you know, six of cups. Yeah, so someone's going to lie and say they're your child or something like that or the parent of your child. Someone's just going to lie about their relation to you to try to get, like, to try to get backstage or to get into your personal space at work to sabotage it or get more information. But they're going to be, again, denied access. Someone's going to tell you the truth about the situation. And you're going to understand with our wisdom and the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, you're going to understand the entire truth about this person. And then it's going to like hit you, the realization, and then you're going to go back to the past and realize like, oh my gosh, this entire time, this person, like, they gave me info, but they never gave you enough to get you anywhere because they wanted to help you, but never enough for you to be better than them. Clarifying the Hierophant is the Two of Cups. Yeah, you are meant to get promoted. This person wants to make you feel guilty about it because they're jealous because they wanted this position. They'll never get this position or they've never had a position that you're getting. They're jealous. Yeah, Eight of Cups. So you could be leaving this person's company or label and going somewhere else and they're jealous about it. They just feel as though you're leaving them behind. But you are meant to get promoted. You were never meant to stay in one place. You are meant to grow. It was karmically meant to occur with the Two of Cups clarifying the Hierophant with the Eight of Cups. You were meant to leave, walk away, and go up and flourish. Any type of sensei or whatever teacher, is they're going to want their um, prodigy or whatever. They're going to want them to excel and succeed and be better than them. Like a parent, basically. The parent wants you to be better than them. So this person, they don't want that for you. So... They're not really like, ugh, nasty energy. Clarifying the Knight of Cups is the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so this person's going to like show up and like call you out in a crowd before you go on stage. They're going to be like, here, I got you this perfume or this lotion or this moisturizer or this makeup or this hair product. Put this on before you go on stage. It'll help you with this or it'll make you like this. It'll keep your makeup on. It'll make you glow. They're lying. It's going to destroy your image completely. It's going to take your makeup off, make you have an allergic reaction, mess your hair up, break you out. They're going to try to like, because they failed to get backstage, right? 
and they're gonna pull you aside when you're about to go on stage and they're like hey security didn't let me back um backstage or whatever or they didn't let me in but i want to give you this product it'll help you a lot and they're faking like it's a um, peace offering do not use it because it's that's what's going to actually break you out or mess you up you have the world card aquarius scorpio leo taurus or hold back from taking it out of their hand at all i feel like it's a perfume or something they try to they want it to get on you to get on your skin or your hair to mess you up over energy the wheel of fortune an opportunity of a lifetime also aquarius scorpio leo taurus so your cycle is over and done with this person but they refuse to let it go they feel threatened by you which really they should be proud of you they should be proud that years ago they um, helped you get a leg up into this community or this company, this career field, and you excelled on your own. And now that you've excelled far beyond them or their expectations of you, now they want to sabotage you because they feel like they deserve your position or how dare you leave my company for someone else's. But it works out for you in the end. Just don't take shit from this person. They're going to try to apologize or they're going to ask you to reject this company. Like, oh, you really shouldn't take that partnership or this position because not because I'm jealous, but because this company is known for robbing people or stealing from people or paying them very little. It's not true. So the person who helped you get into this field from the jump, this person, the person who's warning you not to take this, they're if they're trying to sabotage you unfortunately but the over energy being out wisdom you've seen them do it to other people before or you've seen it happen in your field before so you know what to expect you're just i feel like you're just a little bit sad or disappointed that this person turned out to be like this but over energy being the page of cups pleasant surprise and the wheel of fortune you already know you have good luck on your side things are going to turn out in your favor especially with the ace of swords the higher font and the knight of cups with the star, everything's going to go in your favor. It's just kind of sad to see that this person took this route. All right, I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I'm always wearing. Her Etsy link is in the description box below as well. She does commission work, so check her out. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.